What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jessica's Ratchet a Prison a Cooking Show. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, I'm going to show you guys how we made a baked potato, insert air quotes, in prison. Now, as most of you know, I have this little series on my channel called Jessica's Ratchet Prison Cooking Show. Um, today, today's video is lighthearted. I make a lot of heavy videos, but that's not what today is going to be. Today's just going to be fun. I'm going to share with you guys how I would cook in prison. Before we get into it today, I want to let you guys know, if you don't already know, I started a podcast, finally. It is on all these little things right here, all these little doobly-doos, uh, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and a few other places. We are just getting started over there. I, I love that I have a space where I can be unedited and uncensored and say whatever I want to say. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, just keep in mind, everything that I'm about to show you, you can buy in prison. You couldn't just like walk up and be like, hey, can I get some sour cream and onion chips? No, your family has to send you money and then you use that money to go to the store. Some states call it canteen, some places call it commissary, in New York we called it the store, Arkansas we called it commissary. Now it was also pretty expensive to be able to eat like this. I couldn't eat like this all the time. Um, I would just have to go to Chow and eat the food that they gave me. Now before we get into the actual cooking of the baked potato, I just want to throw in here because I don't think I've talked about it a lot. You stay hungry in prison. You don't go to chow three times a day and you're full and you feel happy because you're full. I don't know. You, you're hungry. You stay hungry. Yes, they feed you, but they feed you the bare minimum amount that a human requires to live. So you really do need extra in prison. The only thing the prison provides to you is clothes and shoes. Everything else, basically, you have to pay for. Hygiene items like deodorant, shampoo. You have to buy that in prison. And if you want shoes that don't hurt your feet, you have to pay for that as well. You have to pay for extra food. And if you don't, you are hungry. Like I, I'm trying to explain it to you guys. I know it's so hard to understand unless you've been there, but people stay hungry in prison. They just do. They just do. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys out and we're gonna start to assemble our baked potato. Now the ingredients are flaming Hot Puffs, regular puffs, summer sausage, cheesy baked potatoes, Velveeta cheese sauce, and pickle, and sour cream and onion chips. You guys, I am crazy excited that I finally found these. Someone in the comment section told me, girl, they have Cheeto puffs, Cheeto flaming Hot Puffs, because I've always seen the crunchy ones and those are so hard to break up, so thank you, whoever it was that told me, girl. They have puffs now in the flaming Hot flavor, you saved this recipe. So thank you so much for letting me know. So I bought a food processor from Amazon for like 40 bucks. Let me just tell you guys, that changed my life. <laughs> I crushed everything up in the food processor. So what I did was I mixed the flaming Hot Cheetos with the regular Cheetos, like half and half in the food processor, and crushed, crushed them all up. It took three seconds. I know, everyone understands the power of a food processor, but listen, <laughs> I've been sitting here for forever just chopping things up or crunching it up with my hands, so 40 bucks on Amazon and you can also change your life. <laughs> so I crushed up the flaming Hot Puffs and the regular cheese puffs and mixed them together. And then I took sour cream and onion chips, basically the whole bag. I do have a little bit extra that I didn't crunch up, but I basically took this whole bag and dumped it in the food processor. I know, I'm ridiculous. I'm just really excited. Okay, so we're gonna start to assemble that. We're going to cook everything in this, in this bag. Okay, I got the four cheese potato, potatoes, potatoes. I got the four cheese potatoes because this is what we could buy in prison, but really anything will work. Garlic, instant potatoes, whatever. Can I open anything without making a mess? We'll just dust that on the floor. This is the Ratchet Prison Show. I mean, did you expect something better? So we're, we're gonna dump the instant mashed potatoes in here, the whole bag. 
Then we're gonna throw the wrapper on the floor. We're gonna take um, three quarters of the bag of the crushed up uh, sour cream and onion chips. Dump that in there. Then we're gonna take the crushed up, I don't know how much I should use. Um, I'm gonna, let me look at it all before I tell you guys. So this looks like a lot. I'm gonna use about half of what I have in here and then look at it. I don't, I don't have measurements for you guys. I did everything by look and by feel. So, so let's just put like half in here and see what that looks like. If you never had to cook in a bag, you don't know the struggle. I'm gonna shake this all up. Okay, so let's see if we can zoom in. I have a freaking nice camera, we should be able to. I used to record these on my phone way back in the day. Okay, now we're gonna take our cut up summer sausage now I cut it up very very finely and in prison I would add pepperoni to this as well but I don't have any pepperoni so we're gonna take the summer sausage and we're gonna dump it right in I do have a backup of the mashed potatoes just in case I add too much water so always keep this on hand if you're gonna make this at home I don't know why you would want to but okay now a little bit more Okay, now I'm going to add water to it. This is the tricky part. That's why I said have extra of everything because, because it's really hard to judge it if you've never done this before. I can tell by the way that it, it's gonna feel. You don't want it too watery and you wanna do it slowly. So I have really hot water here. I'm gonna have to stand up to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna shake it up and combine it. If you can still feel the, the chips in powdery form, then it's not right. And you'll know if you make this, you can still feel the chips. They're not soft, it's not mushy. I'm not explaining that right, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna add more water. I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of water and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the bag. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shape it like a potato. It really doesn't matter what shape it is. But, you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it looks so gross. Can I just make one recipe that looks good? Just like one time? So now I'm gonna take the chips that we didn't grind up. I'm gonna crunch, crunch them up a little, not a lot. and I'm gonna put them in the middle of our potato. Just for some crunch, I need some texture. Definitely need texture with my food. This looks so ridiculous. Not to get too serious here, yes I know it looks disgusting, but it tastes good, so in this scenario, we are not eating with our eyes first. And if you go to serve this to anyone, you should probably blindfold them first. 
I do just want to pause the video because I'm so grateful and humbled by the fact that I no longer have to eat this. There was a time where this was really all I had to look forward to. You know, me and a few of my friends would go in together, go in meaning they'd have some ingredients, I'd have some ingredients, and we'd make a dinner together. That was all that I had to look forward to, you know? I thought that that was normal. I thought in, being in and out of prison was just a normal thing. I thought being a drug addict was normal. I thought everything that I was doing was okay, but I was broken and it took me almost a decade to pull myself out of that lifestyle and to pull myself out of that world. And I am sitting here eight years sober. I'm sitting here a success story and to me, happiness equates success. None of the other shit that you guys see in my life besides my family. You know, just having my family and being happy and being at peace with myself is the best success I could ever have. Everything else is just extra. Everything else is just the cherry on top of it. As long as I'm at peace and I'm happy with my family, I couldn't ask for anything else. So just <laughs> looking at how gross this looks, it really takes me back to a very dark time where cooking a really weird, you know, prison meal was the only thing that I had to look forward to in the world besides my release. All right, so sorry to get mushy free on you guys for a second, but I just had to throw it in there because I think it's really important. So back to the recipe. I put this Velveeta cheese sauce in our hot water so that it would get a little bit liquidy and it is jalapeno Velveeta cheese. If you don't like spicy, um, don't use the flaming Hot Cheetos or this. Spread the cheese all over it. It should be a lot more melty than this, but it's okay. A lot of people put barbecue sauce on theirs. We're just gonna do jalapeno cheese. Now you guys know it would not be a prison recipe <laughs> if I didn't put pickles on it. So I'm gonna top this with pickles. <laughs> Not many people skip the pickles. Now, there are some people in prison that don't like pickles in every single thing. Um, you know, I was not one of them because I like that crunch and that sour and you don't get fresh fruit and fresh vegetables in prison very often. Maybe the feds is different. I was in like state janky gross prisons where you might get an apple here and there, you might get an orange, but you're not gonna get fresh vegetables. Everything is out of a can, everything is mass produced and everything is just not good. No flavor and no spice, bland. You know, New York serves soy meat, Arkansas serves meat wad. If that is not motivation to not break the law, I don't know what is. Okay, here's the official taste test. I'm nervous. Reese is not here, he's at work right now, so I'm just gonna have to do this one on my own. It looks good, right? Look at that here. Y'all can have a bite. <laughs> it is so good. I know it doesn't look good. I know it looks weird as hell. Oh my God. This takes me back to a dark, dark place. It's just spicy enough with the jalapeno cheese and the hot Cheetos. And then it's kind of cheesy because we have the regular puffs in there. It has that crisp bite because the chips are in the middle. And the pickle on the top adds like the perfect garnish or the perfect crunch to it. I don't care what anyone says, prison food is amazing. The food that the inmates make in their cells, not the chow hall food. Inmates are so creative and contrary to popular belief, there are a lot of really good people and really talented people in prison. Just because they broke the law, that does not mean that they're not smart, talented, creative, innovative, and deserving of a second chance or a good meal. And yes, I know there are some people that deserve to and need to stay in prison for the rest of their life but over half of all inmates are serving time on a nonviolent drug offense. And over 60% of people that go to prison will leave prison with some form of PTSD. It is very important that we start to break down the barrier between 
society and prison and we start to help people integrate back into society we need to start rehabilitating people so that we're not releasing broken people into the world i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something more than just how to cook a baked potato in prison and if you are still struggling in addiction or you're a felon and you just got out of prison please know that i was there too i was in that same situation and i pulled myself out of it you are not alone I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay sober. Do not break the law. You can make this in the free world and I'll see you in my next one.